Hello guys, uh, in this video, I would like to explain about non-parametric correlation analysis in Python. Uh, in the previous video, we have discussed about uh, linear correlation analysis in Python. And we have discussed about different situation, uh, about the correlation, uh, I mean, if the data have positive correlation, perfectly positive correlation, perfect negative correlation, or moderate positive and negative correlation, and uh, if the data has no correlation. So all these things have been discussed uh, in the previous video. And if you are interested to watch that video to know about these things, the link to that video is given in the description of this video. Uh, in today's video, we will discuss about non-parametric correlation analysis. And I will give a brief uh, background that why we need this type of analysis, in which situation we can do this type of analysis. Uh, the assumption of the linear correlation is that um, there is linear correlation, linearity, linearity, I mean, linearity is the assumption and normality is the assumption. And the other things which we will discuss uh, and some slides in which situation we need this uh, non-parametric correlation analysis. So if the data violate the assumption of normality or you can say linearity, then what, what you will do because most of the statistical method have some assumption if those uh, the data violate the assumption and you still use the method then maybe the result or not correct and misleading so uh, if the data is violating the assumption of normality and linearity then you need to think about non-parametric correlation analysis which don't require such type of assumptions uh, and today we do we will discuss about person rank correlation person rank correlation and the other is kendall tau correlation so these two methods we will discuss but before going to the to python to implement these two methods i would like to discuss some of the situations uh, you know the, the condition which we meet and then we can use these methods i mean it's better to use in those situations Let's go to the okay. Okay, this is about uh, this is about the Spearman rank correlation, Pearson, yeah, Pearson rank, uh, Pearson correlation, and you can say Pearson rank correlation in this case because this is non-parametric and we base this based on the ranking of the observation in rather than on the original data rank correlation it is just the definition rank correlation is used to measure the relationship between two variables when the data is ordinal or when the relationship is non-linear okay we the data is ordinal or when the relationship is non-linear here are some key reason why rank correlation is important so these are the key reasons non-parametric in nature a nice Pearson correlation which assume linear relationship the normally distributed data and normally distributed data so linearity linear relationship and normal normality are the two assumptions rank correlation Spearman rho or Spearman rank correlation so yeah this is not uh, if I pronounce this this is correct uh, this is wrong if I say Pe Pearson rank correlation. Pearson correlation is the linear correlation which about which we discussed in the previous video. So this is Spearman, uh, Spearman's rho and Kendall tau. So the two correlation which are non-parametric is or Spearman's rho and Kendall tau. We will discuss about these two remember. And we have discussed about the linear correlation analysis in the previous video. The link is given in the description of this video. So, um, if the data uh, data violate these assumptions, linear relationship and normality of the data, ring correlation method like Spearman's Rho and Kendall Tau do not require these assumptions. So we can use in violation. In case of the violation of these assumptions, we can use this these two types of methods. A robust outliers ring correlation method are less sensitive to outliers because they rely on uh, rely on the ranks of the data rather than the raw values so i already talk about this so outliers does not create serious problem because this these correlation depend 
and the ranks of the data rather than in the original data. This makes them more robust and uh, in the presence of extreme values. Ordinal data, when dealing with the ordinal data, data that can be make ranked but not measured precisely. Rank correlation is more appropriate. So yeah, in this case, of course, this is the option, the better option we can use. For instance, if you have data in the form of ranking or older categories, rank correlation can be can provide a meaningful Myers type association. So in that case, rank correlation is better. I mean, you can use either uh, Spearman row or Kendall tau. Non-linear relationship. Rank correlation can capture monotonic relationship. You know, increasing, consistently increasing uh, or decreasing, but not necessarily at constant rate. So this means that it is, you know, periodically increasing and decreasing. So this type of relationship can be better uh, model or can be better mired by the nonlinear uh, by the rank correlation. And this is useful when the relationship between variables is non not linear but still follows a predictable pattern. Okay, a simple interpretation. So interpretation is simple. The interpretation of the rank correlation coefficient is straightforward. A positive rank correlation indicates that as one variable increase, the other variable to increase as well. So this is simple. There is positive correlation mean that both variable are moving in the same direction. Either both variable are increasing or either both variable are decreasing. A negative rank correlation indicates that as one variable increase, the other tend to decrease. So this is the same interpretation as we did in the um, linear correlation analysis. Use in various in various fields. So where we can use such type of correlation analysis? Rank correlation is widely used in the field of, such as psychology, medicine, and social sciences, where data may not meet the assumption required for parametric test or where the data is ordinal. So in those in in any area, particularly dimension areas, where you have the data which is which which the assumption required for a metric test are not meet, or the data is ordinal, you can use these methods. And this is now about Kendall Tau, almost the same thing, but there are some additional things which is I mean in that case, Kendall Tau is a better option. Non-parametric measures, so this is the same as we have done in the Spearman row correlation. Ordinal data, this is the same. Robust outliers, so this is uh, also the same. But like the other rank correlation methods, Kendall Tau is less affected by outliers since it is based on the rank rather than the raw data. It is more robust in the presence of uh, extreme values. The same thing, handle tie ties well. So this is another the extra you know, benefit as compared to the Spearman row. Kendall Tau can handle tied ranks better than Spearman row. This is beneficial in data set where ties are common, providing a more accurate Myers up correlation in such cases. So this is one of the advantages of Kendall Tau or Spearman row correlation. Okay, interpretation. The sphere, the interpretation of the Kendall Tau is straightforward. It's the same thing as we have done. So I think you don't need to talk about this. You can just look at this. A monotonic relationship, Kendall Tau Mayer monotonic relationship, which is a relationship that are consistent increasing or decreasing. It can be it can detect these relationships even when they are not linear. Comparison with the Spearman row. While both Kendall Tau and Spearman's row Myers rank correlation, Kendall Tau tends to be more accurate with the smaller data sets and provide a more conservative estimate of the correlation strength. strength. So this means that Kendall Tau have two advantages over Spearman row uh, correlation analysis. One is that when the sample size is small, very small or small, and the other is it consider ties better than Spearman row correlation. So if you have the situation that there are ties, ranks, or 
there are small sample size is small it's better to choose candle tau correlation analysis rather than spearman rose uh, application in various field candle tau is widely used in the field such as social sciences biology and economics where data often do not meet the assumption of parametric test or where ordinal data is common so this is important to keep in mind that when you are doing correlation analysis in this field or in the other field you must look at the data what the data speak so look at the data plot the data and then decide about which correlation coefficient which correlation analysis as uh, better for your analysis this is important so this is all about some theoretical and uh, i did not discuss about uh, the formula and the other things and i will discuss these things in some other videos and you can google and you can see how the formula work for this correlation uh, analysis now let's move to python that how we can do this correlation analysis so i already opened this now spearman rank correlation or spearman row correlation uh, we need to generate data in the previous video there was a problem uh, which uh, particularly when i was doing correlation analysis with the pandas library like this there was problem in the data but i think now there is no problem in the data let's suppose generate this data so now we can use this pandas the same data as i did x and y and now you can print you can run calculate the correlation coefficient and print it so this is okay this is 0.71179 so and there is no problem now with the data so this is the problem which was in the previous video so now to the current video generate this data uh, we already generated this in above but you can generate this data x and y and then you need to show the data you need to plot the data first to look at the data how the data look like we have discussed about different nature of correlation different situation about the correlation analysis so in that video you can see that how what will be the correlation the potential correlation coefficient in this case or the data look if data is like in this direction what will be the correlation coefficient approximate coefficient correlation coefficient so you need to plot the data so the data is you can plot with this this will give you a scatter plot yeah, this is the scatter plot. You can make an increase like this. Okay, click this. Okay. So x axis and y axis. Yes. So you can see there is a positive correlation. It is not very strong, but this is there is a positive correlation because as x increase, y increase. So there is, I mean that y increase as x increase. So this means that there is a positive correlation in this data however let's see how we can do this with the data you need to run this for spearman correlation spearman or and now you need to run this command spearman correlation so this command spearman or they get x and y this will store spearman correlation here the value and then the p value here so just run this and now print the correlation coefficient the value of the correlation coefficient and the p value so this is the correlation coefficient 0 0.7241 and the p value is 1.6 at 4 e raised to the power minus 17 the p value is very low and the correlation coefficient is 0 0.724 and this is remember this is spearman rank correlation now you can do kendall tau correlation you need to run this we need to yes import this command from this just do this and now you need to run because you have data x and y and now this command kendall tau will store core kendall tau underscore correlation in this the value in the correlation coefficient value will store here and the p will store here just run this and now print the correlation coefficient using kendall tau and p value so this is the correlation coefficient from kendall tau is 0 0.519 and the p value is 1.86 e raised to the power minus 14 so from both 
Spearman row you can compare. This is the Spearman row that is 0 0.72 is the correlation coefficient and in the Kendall tau case the correlation coefficient is 0 0.51. So there is almost 9, 0 0.9, 0 0.19 difference. 0 0.19 is the difference. The correlation coefficient in Kendall tau is less then the correlation coefficient we calculated in Spearman ring correlation. The p value is approximately we can say the same because it is zero, so very, very small. So, zero. So, this means I am explaining this for this data. This is, of course, very simple data. You can use simple linear correlation, but if your data has outliers, your data has uh, as a small sample, in that case, you this better to use the other. I mean, that. Spearman row or Kendall tau correlation. I mean the non-parametric correlation analysis. This will give you better result. Remember, this is the correlation coefficient which we calculated by linear method, simple cal cal correlation method, and this is 0 0.717. This is close, close to the correlation coefficient we calculated by Spearman row, but this is the Kendall tau correlation is much lower than these two calculated from Spearman row and simple linear correlation. So this means that this is very important while doing correlation analysis to look at the data and check the assumption of the data, see whether there is outliers, see that whether the data, the sample size is small or large. So look at all these situations, then you can decide by, by choosing an appropriate method for correlation analysis and this will give you a representative result. A, a good result you know a better result if you are not using this you are doing just choosing you know if your data required Kendall tau correlation and you're doing simple linear correlation the result will be misleading and if your data need simple linear correlation analysis and you are doing Kendall tau correlation the result can be also you know there may be misleading the result may be misleading so this is very important to know that what type of correlation analysis required by your data so just look and speak with the data. Okay, so. Okay, uh, and today video we have learned about um, non-parametric correlation analysis in Python. Uh, non-parametric correlation uh, analysis includes Spearman row correlation and Kendall tau correlation. And we have discussed some theory and then we implement these two in Python. So you can do, you can just look at your data speak with your data and then ask which type of correlation analysis is required for your data. And remember that uh, if your data has non-linear relationship and while the normality assumption, then you need to use non-parametric correlation. I mean, you can either use Spearman row correlation or you can use Kendall tau correlation. And furthermore, if the data violate this assumption and further the data is the sample size is small and there is outliers, then it's better to use Kendall tau correlation instead of Spearman row correlation. So thank you very much. And I think it's enough for today and see you in the next video. Ciao.